Madden Machines. Dude, I'm always on EA about how they just reduce, reuse, and recycle every single promo they've ever done. I'm always saying that. And unless I'm mistaken, this is brand new. Yeah! So Madden machines on the surface looks like a pretty standard promo you know you've got some 96 overall cards you got some 98 overalls 92s whatever but this is actually pretty cool so here's the tyree kill you get just for logging in also it is so crazy that this is the last year of madden that you're gonna see tyree kill in a chiefs jersey ah, ah it blows my mind dude if you upgrade these Mad Machine cards, three stages, there's a final stage, which is brand new, called Overdrive. You add training to activate this player's overdrive. It increases some stats and decreases others. And my understanding is that the stats that it increases are like physical, tangible stats, like speed, excel, strength, most of the time. And the stats that it decreases are like finesse stuff, like in Tyree Kill's example, catching, spectacular catch, catching traffic, deep route runs. So I sure as hell we take speed, strength, acceleration, awareness, all those stuff stats over some of the finesse ones and i'm so excited to see how this affects so the 98 overalls and you guys might not remember this kind of reminds me of madden mobile really way back in the day of madden like four years ago they had cards called motivators motivators would increase the stats of your whole team that's how we would build like 105 overall madden mobile teams is you'd get like you know motivators richard sherman and he'd add plus five awareness to your whole team and then everybody's overall shoots up the madden machines promo operates the same and i'll show you this at the end because we are gonna buy one of these players but i do know that like the best cards in mad machines which I think there's a 98 tyree kill and a 98 anthony Barr, they actually give your whole team boosts to their stats i say whole team i think it's position specific but we'll get more into it as we go i'm gonna rip the big bundle of mad machines to see what we can potentially get here or we'll learn just how dog water these packs are i have not had the craziest pack like this year that's i'm just gonna be honest and this is the first video i've recorded in a long time where i am at full health and i have full voice so if we pull a limited or something really good, it's gonna be awesome. The 16 times Madden Machines bundle. I do gotta say, EA, why are you adding these like graphics? See how there's like electricity on the pack? It's pretty cool. But if my Xbox Series X can't handle it, why are you putting it in? Look at the menu lag. Look at this shit. You'd think I'm playing on an actual toaster. You'd think I plugged my microwave into the Tiki Jungle Hut of all the EA monkeys, and that's what I'm running this game off of, bro. I remember, dude, Team of the Year was the worst, though. Team of the Year, Debo Samuel literally broke my Xbox. Also, I recently partnered with this amazing company called Napjitsu, and they're sponsoring today's video. Napjitsu makes a patent-pending energy supplement for peak performance throughout the whole day. And the game changer with this product is time-released caffeine. I love coffee. It gets me wired. The problem with coffee is you drink it and you're so wired. But then when you crash, it's just such an unproductive two, three hours. And that is why Nap Jitsu is so incredible. So this is their product Nap right here. Inside the package is two energy capsules and one mellowing mint. So the idea is you take the mint, it helps you fall asleep, and you get into a nice little power nap. Then after 20 to 30 minutes, the energy capsules are gonna release the caffeine and you're gonna wake up alert and sharp. And then for the next five hours, there is time-released caffeine so you don't get hit with this giant wave. It's so awesome, honestly. It has completely changed my workflow. I'm so much more productive now thanks to it. And if you wanna kick energy instantly, you can take now. It's the same idea, time-released caffeine, but you don't need to power nap and they also have a product called rest this is going to help you get a better recharge out of your sleep i absolutely love it for flights it is really hard to sleep well on flights but rest has absolutely helped that out without a doubt though for sustained optimal energy throughout the whole day you guys are going to want to check out nap jitsu there's a link in the top of the description as always but that's all for now enjoy the rest of the video we get 16 of these packs and two guaranteed 96s. Unfortunately, it's not 96 plus. Pack animation is sexy. Oh, and there's a Heineke. That pack animation is gnarly. So hopefully there's a better animation if we're gonna get something good. Not sure what that's gonna look like. We get Deion Sanders, Elijah Mitchell. Z we got two Zonkas, back-to-back Zonkas. This could be good news. That's so sick. Oh, that's so sick. Charlie Young, Taysom Hill, Raheem Moster. Ooh, Keith Smith is actually a solid fullback. Xavier and Howard. Damn, a 92 Xavier and Howard. Daryl Henderson. Oh, Gababa Jagoosh! Jagaba Jagoosh! The GOAT! Dude, you guys remember? I don't remember. Dude, I have been killing it Wheel of Mutt this season. I have so many rings. So I don't remember what series he was a part of. I almost prestiged him, though. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, bro. He's pretty good at basketball, too. Walter Jones, we're gonna get... All right, see, these are solid. So I got 92, 89, 88. Not bad. See, I'm, if I'm getting that animation, I know it's a 92 max. That's that's how I understand it right now. Oh, I'm getting the double timer. Armin Wa 
Watts and Keith Smith. Anthony Levine. Hawkins sucks. DJ Chark. Yo, that was weird. Those were all Lions players. Brandon Ayuk. Quandre Diggs, once a Lion. DJ Chark, now a Lion. TJ Hawkinson, currently a Lion. It feels like every team and their mother did something cool in free agency this year. And all we did was pick up DJ Chark. Whatever. Javon. Oh, oh, oh. Boy, ain't no fucking way, boy. Well, let's be nice. Yeah. Let's be nice. We don't have to go there. <laughs> Whatever, Javon. Oh, 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 big animation. What do we got? 96 Shaq Barrett. I knew there was another animation waiting for me. Shaq Barrett. Let's check out his overdrive. That's what I'm excited about, bro. For his height, 250 is huge. 89 speed, 293 excel. He's going to hit like a Brinks truck. Let's see what the overdrive does. Overdrive. So his overdrive makes him like skinnier is I guess how I'd put it. He loses six strength. He'd be up to 92 speed. He'd be down one excel, down five tackle. He'd be 99 finesse moves, 99 block shed. That is a nasty overdrive. We'll definitely throw him on the squad for this house rules game. Big Big pack right there, boys. We're not even done with this pack. Uh, my game just completely glitched out. Do you see this? I am sitting on this card, but I can't see it. What if it's like a god? Oh, both? Both? I'm gonna hit A, see what happens. Oh, we can't do anything. You know, honestly, guys, we need to give EA some slack because this is their first year making this game, so we shouldn't be nope. like such asshole. Oh, wait! Oh, wait! They've been doing this shit since before I was born! Before I was even a stupid little... Whoa, calm down, Jamal. Swimmer in my dad, twinkle in my daddy's eyes! Before I was... He's ever done with that. 996 Shaq Barrett. Let's see if we can get another one, though. Cleveland Browns, Deshaun Watson. Dude, this is so weird. Jerry Tillery. Do you think EA will put in, like, a super good Deshaun Watson? Or did they already? What, tell me why I just learned that that's Booger McFarlane. Tell me tell me why I just learned that's Booger. Like, the analyst who everyone memes. I don't know how I'm such a moron, but I just figured that out. Junior Seau, Xavier Howard, Randall Cobb. Now, the best Deshaun in the game is the Deshaun I just pulled. I'm kind of mad about that. Taylor Moten, D-Hop, Heineke, Mike Rucker, Leonard Davis, Miko. Hard man. Wait, 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 wait. Quan Jones and no good animation. We're seeing a lot of Xavier Howard. I'll definitely take him over like Armin Watts or Keith Smith. It's really gonna come down to all the training. Zach Pascal, Jerry Tillery, bingo. Keep him 92 and I'll be a happy man. I'll probably uh, I'll probably go in the training store and like just check out some of the 96s. Javon Hargrave. Yo, he haunts my back. I gotta go set up a spa appointment now, baby. What do you mean by that? And just so we're clear, by the way, I'm on the side of Deshaun Watson. I just think it's funny. A, A, A. No, wait, why? Why did I say that? Oh, it was Heineke. That's funny. something in my brain said that that was a different animation. It wasn't. I don't know how many of these I have left. I might even be into the. I and literally as I said it. All right, so we're on to our. Whoa, there's a Nick Chubb. I have the biggest Chubb for Nick Chubb. I actually do. I fucking love Nick Chubb. His Madden cards are low key not that good, but they're still solid. Ah, uh, so there's a Nick Chubb, Xavier McKinney. We're gonna get to see everything, and these are fantasy packs. I can take literally whoever I want. Jason Peters, Shaq Barrett. There's no way there's a Lions player. I don't even know what I'm looking at the screen for right now. Devonta Smith. I like a Devonta Smith and Tre'Davious White. Tre'Davious White always gets love. I think Nick Chubb is the obvious one that we take here. We should definitely get offensive players so that when we get into gameplay, we can actually use them. 96 overall, Nick Chubb. If his overdrive doesn't give him speed, I will be pissed. I bet you it decreases his acceleration and agility and it increases his speed. Oh, shit. His agility goes up six. 96 agility. Holy shit. And then he loses Steph Arm, but who cares? That's ridiculous. 95 speed, 96 agility, 99 truck. 99 truck, 99 break tackle is gross. Break tackle and my opinion is the most important halfback stat. Because if you fuck up and just don't do anything and hit somebody, that's your odds of breaking the tackle. You know, I normally give him freight train, but I'm actually gonna give him first one free. You know what would be a sick combo though is tank and leapfrog. Because once you hit somebody with tank enough, they're gonna have to go low. And if they go low, you're guaranteed to hurdle them. I'm probably thinking too hard. I mean, you really should just go bruiser and just shit on people. Here's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'll probably go bruiser jukebox. And we get one more Madden Machines fantasy back. We've already got Shaq Barrett, who really I feel like I could use her and is gonna be impactful no matter what. It kind of makes me, kind of makes me not not want to get Xavier McKinney. I feel like we go Devonta Smith. That's like the next most likely that we're going to get use out of. He's got 95 speed, 92 jump. You think they'll take him to 99? The overdrive is, oh, just plus one to speed. Okay, you don't want him to be too overpowered. I get it. He does get 99 agility, 98 change of direction, 90 spin move, 99 spectacular catch. He loses base catching, carrying, medium route run, short route run, and deep route run, but he gets 96 beat press, and I love beat press. Beat press is really 
really good. All right, if my game will survive and not lag too much, I think I can hop into a game here. And as is customary with all pack openings, we have to go into the training store and just hit like five rerolls. So there's an 88 plus Madden Machines pack. 88 Brandon Ayuk, and Ayuk is 2,180 training. So if you get an 88, you lose 4K training every time. Third pack sauce. That's not sauce. If it's a 92 though, I feel like, okay. L plus ratio plus I fell off. Don't do it to me on all five, bro. Come on. You can't do me like that. These are claps, dude. So, so far I've opened five for 6K, which is 30K. I've gotten 2180 out of it each time. I've lost about 18,000 training. These must be like total home runs. Like you either just bomb a 98 or you get nothing. Oh, there's a Michael Pittman. And that quick sells for 37,000 training that actually would near perfectly recuperate all of my losses. 94 speed, 96 excel, 93 tackle, 92 play rec, 96 pursuit, 88 man, 91 zone, 92 hit power. And his overdrive, I'm gonna be honest, I actually think that's bad. The block shed is good, the pursuit is good, but I feel like in my personal opinion, tackle and play rec are really important. His man coverage goes up, I'm not, I don't really run man. And even if I run man, it's usually like cover two man, which is where the strong safety is still in zone. I'm actually going to use Xavier McKinney to recoup my losses. Victory protocol. Initiate victory protocol by getting a lead of 15 points or having any lead in the fourth quarter. Either way will get you the win. It's first and 20. You start on the 40, 10 points for a touchdown, five points for a PAT from the five. There's no kick. Steal five points on a sack or TFL. Lead by, Jesus Christ. What do I got to write a, what do I got to go to Stanford to learn all the fucking rules? So I got to go to an Ivy League and write a, an essay on the victory protocol rules? Let's settle it down there, EA. And I literally just learned that X factors are always on. Holy shit. So first one free on Nick Chubb is on by default. I think I lose... I think I lose five points for a TFL. Running the ball is actually probably not the matter. He is a D-line user, which is huge to see. So I can definitely throw this underneath the Nick Chubb with basically no penalty. Easy peasy. And how I just got tackled the first one free on the first attempt is crazy to me, but that's okay. Third and 12, I can throw Waller over the middle. I can really throw anything because he's a D-line user. So whatever. I'm going to run this ball. He's on Jimmy Graham. I'm running it. Halfback base. Nick Chubb. Yes, sir. Oh my God. He kind of dove and my ankles almost got me, but guess what? We're good. Cooper Cup does have double me, but low key, he's not a very good double me guy because he's pretty small. He does have a lot of grit though, so that helps. Let's try and hit Nick Chubb in the middle here. Oh, he sees it. Oh, and he missed a Nick Chubb. Nick Chubb's overdrive decreases his catching. I wonder if that played a factor right there. Oh, shit. Dude, his Marcus Davenport just ruined me. All right, Devonta to Smith. We're going to need a big one out of you, or I just beam one to Cooper Cup. I'm actually going to go Devonta Smith. He'd be more fun. Oh, my God. That's that 99 spec catch. No X factor. And I think I can hit Elroy Hirsch here for a touchdown. It should be. Oh, no, it's not. I was going to say it should be an easy touchdown. Oh, and Herbert. Everybody's just getting big right now. Uh oh, bad ball. No, 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 no. It was a bad ball, but that was some nonsense. My X Factors are Sean Taylor and Jalen Ramsey. I think whoever my other X Factor is is just not on the field right now for some reason. He could definitely check down to his halfback. Or he'll just be one. Somebody's got to get that. Oh, no, he wants halfback. He wants halfback. It's not there. Nothing's there. The check down. Oh, good D, though. I'm going to get on the quarterback. I want those five points for the sack. Oh, shit. Not there. Mine. Mine, 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 mine. Hey, let's go. We got him anyway. Shaq Thompson. Yeah, we're all over this. If he catches this, I I'm in a lot of pain. And you know what? That's so weird. I get the five points there. I have no idea why he didn't get it for his. You can also win the game by having any lead in the fourth quarter. That would be a super lame way to win. So I'm going to try and score before the fourth quarter. But I technically can win like that. Come here. Let's go. Just do it. Yes, sir. Come on, Nick. All the way to the end zone. Let's go. And we win like men. We got our 15. It's not the fourth quarter. I just figured it out. If you get an interception, you steal five points. In order to steal five points, your opponent must have five points. When he got the interception, I had zero points. 
Okay, I've got the halfback. Everything is kind of covered here. That was a yard away from a TFL. I think he wants to throw halfback here. I don't know why I think that. I just do. Oh, can I get there? No, I'm an inch behind it, Elijah Moore. Good play. It's rocked by Pat Pete. Namath is going to take off, not fumble, unfortunately. He does get seven yards. If he runs the ball, I'm in trouble. He doesn't. Beauty. Mine! Sean T! Don't throw that shit on Sean T! What's wrong with you? I'm going to go halfback base Nick Chubb. No TFLs. Great start. Look at the middle. Look at the middle of this field. First one free. Good juke. Also, how is identifier not working? Okay, you guys see I have an identifier. It's supposed to highlight. Oh, he's just on Randy Moss? I just couldn't figure out who his user in because I would never personally do that. But I respect it. Nick Chubb underneath. It should be fun. That kind of looks like single. I think that's a touchdown. Hopefully. Get up, Cooper. We're going to rifle this to Cooper Cup so he definitely animates. It's really important that he gets some form of animation. Go up, baby. <laughs> What? What? It's low-key my fault. Cooper Cup's not built for double me, but it is weird that he didn't animate for that. We gotta send Shaq Barrett off the edge. He's, oh, Devin White. That's who I was missing. He's gonna throw underneath to his halfback. No, good ball. Dude, you know what would be kind of broken is running avalanche on your safeties. You could just run avalanche on all your safeties or linebackers and just get fumbles galore, right? Big hit. Big hit! Oh! See, if I had Avalanche right there, that ball instantly pops out. I'm going to make an entire video dedicated to perfectly building a team for this game. He could go back to it, or he could throw right at my face. I like that a little bit better. Great blocks, gentlemen. Dude, can't Devontae Smith just burn him? He's got to be able to. Oh, I think he did. Oh, my God, he torched him. Devonta Smith! Oh, my God. God, he torched him. Wasn't even close. Rashad Fenton. Off go. And Devonta Smith puts this game away. 10 points. And that's the lead in the fourth quarter. So I think it's over. What is this defense? Is someone going to guard Nick Chubb? Oh, they kind of do. And holy shit. This guy's got a good idea. He's on that D-line user. And he's just coming at me hot. You know? Could he just go up and just double me that? <gasps> Dude, <laughs> How did that happen? Yeah, this guy, is, this guy knows what he wants to do. Look at him coming there with Javon Hargrave. Devonta Smith. So he's on Ed Tutel Jones now. Looks like he's over, over whatever he was doing before. Holy shit, this guy. Cooper Cup, huge catch. And he's got Avalanche, doesn't he? This guy did exactly what I'm talking about. That was definitely Avalanche on John Lynch. Not sure what he's going to try here. Just a run play. Almost got TF. Whoa! Whoa! DK! Metcalf! I don't even have Avalanche! Oh my god! And I get six points for that? Wait, what? Isn't it ten points for touchdown? I guess a defensive touchdown is not worth the same. He's on Camp Chancellor. Uh... Bingo. No! Oh, I thought I played it perfectly by waiting, but I, I threw it too late still. Holy escape artist. So is that like the meta? Just roll out like an absolute psychopath? Mine! Oh, what are you what are you doing? It's gonna be a tough game, but I'm feeling really good right now. Let's see if we can stretch this out left. I got one man to beat! Ran him over, but I think I'm gonna... Yup, I just lost points for that because that was a TFL still. Not really sure what I want here. I guess I'll go Devonta Smith. Yes, sir. That's exactly what we needed. What a play. No, no. This is the game right here. So I didn't catch it. He didn't catch it. Good news. There's Darren Waller again. A great secure catch is going to give me 15 yards. Whoa, 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 whoa. What? Isn't the game over? Doesn't it have a lead in the fourth quarter? I thought I lost. That was stupid. I, I forgot that the clock would keep chewing in the third. I could have called a timeout. Whatever. And I lost on my TFL too. Let's get a dub to close us out here. Trey Lance. Come on, baby. Bop. Hey, that's my boys right there for the sack. Why don't we just get three sacks to start the game out and just end it? I'm going to get one more right here. It's going to give us 10. Are you ready? I'm going to jump this like a maniac. Jump it like a maniac. <gasps> yes, sir. Shaq Barrett. Oh, I was. I just got a roughing the passer. I just got a roughing the pass. Lots of roll out right, so we got to shoot a gap on the right side. Play action. 
Nobody's open, Jalen Ramsey! Wait, I only get six points if I return this on defense, which is really stupid. So if I just go out like Wheel of Mutt, go out like right here, and then score, it's game over. You're built like this, Nick Chubb. You're built like this, a little juke! Oh, that was beautiful. Oh, I would've ran right into Ed Reed too. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, I love it. If you guys like this game mode, which I really do, I kinda wanna build a squad like perfectly for it. So let me know what you think, but hey, I love you boys. Thanks for watching as always, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.